Welcome everybody to Asmodea City. I am Lord Gearth. I'll be your guide for this quick adventure. This will be a short one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you are a player, this may or may not be for you. I mean, you're welcome to stick around and watch it. However, it's really about how we set up things and check things in the Foundry Virtual Tabletop for our players. So, that being said, we are going to talk today about the Module Compatibility Checker. And now that we have version 10 released, uh, many of us have lots of modules that we already have you know, use, used in, in many of our worlds. So the question becomes, is it safe to upgrade to version 10? Is it not safe to, ver to upgrade yet? Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick way to at least check your modules to find out if they're compatible with version 10 right after this. Welcome, adventurer, to Asmodea. And welcome back, everyone. Again, uh, my name is Lord Gearth. Uh, welcome to Asmodea City. If you haven't already done so, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. There's so much we're coming out with. Uh, as you can see, if you look back over our videos, I've released quite a few just in the last uh, few weeks uh, or month or so, and we are growing by leaps and bounds. So we, we really appreciate our subscribers and uh, also want to make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button if you like this video, and hit the bell to get notified uh, if of any of these new videos that are going to be coming out because I've got a ton. <laughs> I literally have a stack sitting there waiting. Uh, before I move on, I want to make sure I remind you that we do have a Discord server, and if you enter in your browser, and this is a browser link now, uh, enter in discord.asmodia.com. That will take you to the link to uh, get into our Discord server. It is also growing, and we could sure use people there that can help out some of the newer players. I think that's awesome. If you could do that, that would be wonderful. So, uh, that being said, uh, let's kind of get into this real quick. So you're looking at my uh, version 9 Foundry virtual tabletop right now. And uh, you'll notice that I, I've got this uh, kind of notification up at the top here that says that there is a new version that is available uh, for us. Now, this is a version 9 server that you see here, uh, and I have not upgraded it yet. And let me show you why. I haven't done that yet. So let me go into manage modules and I've already downloaded this and well, I've installed it. I just haven't activated it here in this particular world, but you'll see here's this option for module compatibility checker. And if you click this on and then and, and notice, look at these buttons down here at the bottom that will be important in a second because we're in, we're in the manage modules section, but, uh, but you know, watch this area down at the bottom. So when I save this, it will obviously restart, uh, the server itself. And if I then go back up into manage modules <clears throat> here, you'll see now all of a sudden these things are colored and there is this additional button that's down here at the bottom and it's, uh, uh the module compatibility checker. So if you click that, it will show you essentially, and you can see in, in my modules, uh, pretty much everything is compatible with the exception of item piles at the moment. And I, I have spoken to the, to the author of that and he's working on a new update. I, I, and, and there's a whole video and I'll, I'll put a card up on top that uh, I did about the item piles module. It is amazing. I love it. it it's, I, and for this one module, <laughs> I am holding out on upgrading to version 10 because I use it so often in so many places. But anyway, you can see that video. Uh, you'll you'll be able to, to check that out uh, on your own. I think it, you'll you'll be surprised. Uh, you will never look at loot ever again the same way. It's really it's very cool. Anyway, uh, so looking at this, you can see we've got a lot of different colored options here that show you you know marked as compatible or we don't know or some of these have been archived. Uh, I, I'm sure I have some modules installed that I, since I test so many of them that uh, are no longer really being used, uh, not actively maintained. Uh, some say that there's kind of no, no testing necessary. This package in green uh, works uh, without an issue uh, in, the, in the current version. We have um, 
uh, and, and I, I, I don't have any of these, but I see that uh, there is the ability to list the uh, items that are blocked from being tested. And there's a number of reasons for that, which I'm not going to delve into here, but that's why that's there. And of course, then this uh, uh, has a package that functions with some errors. And you notice I don't really have any yellow here. Uh, so when I, and I, I don't have any yellow, I don't have any brown, uh, you'll see the numbers are there. Now these, these actually act as, uh, filters as well. So if you kind of click on them, you'll notice you can get rid of, like, if I get rid of this, you'll, you'll see, uh, now all of the, the, it's not showing any of the, the packages that work, uh, uh automatically as updated. So, uh, you can kind of click on these and, and kind of narrow things down. But I think what's really kind of neater about this is that you don't really even have to go into that uh, button down at the bottom to know uh, where you are. If you look just here at your list of modules, it color codes all of these modules to show you what is actually uh, working or what is not working, what doesn't need to be checked because it doesn't matter, it's, it's not you know version dependent, uh, what have you, and you'll notice uh, that item piles again is the only one that's in red here in all of these, and, and you don't need all of these. There's a lot of this that I'm using for testing. So uh, that kind of gives you a quick overview to make sure that you have the proper modules to do your upgrading uh, to version 10. I will recommend that you do not upgrade yet to version 10 until you absolutely check all of your modules to make sure that they are compatible, number one. But do yourself a favor. Back up your worlds. Back up all of, as a matter of fact, I backed up everything that is Foundry uh, before I, I actually even tried to upgrade any of my servers. Just so that, you know, if there's a problem, you can kind of jump back to where you were and you don't, you don't have any issues there. You can kind of get back to where you were. So that's it, guys. This is a short one. I told you it would be short. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Again, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. And please, you know, comment below if there's anything you feel like I've missed, anything you want to add. Uh, I'm happy to have you there. And also, make sure that you reach out to us on our Discord server. And again, I'll throw that URL up here, the discord.asmodia.com. And again, that is a browser URL. It is not a server URL in Discord. So just enter that in your browser. It'll take you to where we need to go, and you can follow it in from there. Uh, that is about it, my friends. Thank you again so much for being here and being a part of Asmodea City. And as always, when you're adventuring, be careful, be safe, and be kind. Peace.